Welcome back. Again, we are live at Evergy Courtyard, part of Block 22 in downtown Pittsburgh for our More Power to You tour. And we are joined now by Sean Nakarado with Block 22. Thanks for being with us. It's a pleasure to be here. Happy to have you. Block 22 is a lot of things to most people. I think they're identifying the retail establishments, specifically the restaurants. We also have uh, another retailer. Tell us how the response has been to those so far. The response has been incredible. The energy that has been provided here at 4th and Broadway, the historic center of, of Pittsburgh, has been incredible. And, and having these new restaurants uh, and coffee shop, the retail with Pippi May, it's been incredible. The students, the community, as everybody's come out, and it's really building an, a new community here at 4th and Broadway. It's unfortunate that the pandemic hit when it did, just as some of these businesses were new. How did they weather that? Well, number one, they all survived. So we're very pl pleased and proud of that. And that speaks a lot to the community that has been built, not only around 4th and Broadway at Block 22, but also how much the entire community has embraced that. And so they all made it through difficulties, obviously. We all, uh, the timing of it was interesting uh, in the sense that we had barely gotten open when that happened, but they've all survived and they're thriving. Block 22 is more than retail. It's also an apartment uh, facility for about 100 or so Pitt State students. Tell us about the Block 22 apartment complex. Well, our, our idea here was a living learning community to convert the four first commercial buildings in downtown Pittsburgh into a living learning community for our students and for our community. And the apartments upstairs, as you said, uh, almost 100 students, 99 to be exact, ha have been full the entire time. And those students have the opportunity to live down here, experience the vibrant renaissance that's occurring in Pittsburgh. Demand still increasing for space there every year. In fact, we've been full since we opened in, in August of 18. Very good. Pitsco Idea Shop is also part of Block 22. In fact, it's right next to sure. where we are. Tell me how that works in the response. So the, the idea with uh, Idea Shop was something called Hacker Maker Spaces, but essentially a place where people can bring their ideas that will have a physical component. So they can create for us, it, is, it means uh, engaging K-12 through students in innovation thinking, helping them to understand how they can plug in eventually with Pittsburgh State University programs to do that, but also with our community. How, when they have ideas, we can help them with prototyping on products as well as founding uh, new businesses with our business consultants. Yeah, just a minute, Sean. You've been, okay. A lot of people are going to be seeing a flyer like this for sure. advertising a block party right. here specifically at Evergy Courtyard that's coming up a week from tomorrow. What's that a all week about? From tomorrow. So we're going to be having uh, uh, John Calvin Abney, who is a national tour Act. He will be here uh, presented by Olive Street Concerts, but we want to turn that into a block party atmosphere. We wanted to, again, building that community because at the end of the day, that's what we're all about here at Block 22 is building community. I agree more. Thank you so much. Thank I'm Nakarado, Block 22. Final check of the forecast up next.